In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, I'd like to show you how you can use the Paint Designer to draw precise objects on the screen. I'd also like to show you some techniques about masking to emulate a commercial I saw on television. So please look at the following example and then we'll show you how to use these techniques and others to create what you are about to see. The first thing I want to do is do some color boards. So I'm going to open that panel up and go to color boards. And we'll take this bright blue one and drag it on track one and on track three. I'm going to increase the duration of them. And then we'll get to our next step. First thing I want to do though is take the first track and I'm going to make that invisible by clicking on the eyeball. And so we'll make that invisible for now. You'll see why in a moment. We're going to take track number three, and now we're going to create a mask. I'm going to click on that, click on Tools, and choose my Mask Designer. Now in the Mask Designer, I want to use a mask of that heart that you saw a few moments ago. So I'm going to use a graphic. Now the important thing about the graphic is it needs to cover the entire screen. My project is 1920 by 1080, so that's how I designed the graphic in PhotoDirector. So I'm going to take this icon here, and that will help me pick the graphic I want to use. Here's my 1920 by 1080 heart. I'll click on that, and click on Open. I do want to use the Alpha channel, and I'll click on OK, and there's my heart. One thing I want to do is invert it. So I'll click on that, and then click on OK. So now I have my heart on the screen that we're going to draw. So how do you draw that? Well, you use the Paint Designer. Let's go into our Tools at the upper left and click on Paint Designer. And now what I'm going to do is simply draw over the black areas. I have to make sure the width is wide enough. And I'm going to try to draw in a smooth motion, never covering the same area twice. Create the width a little bit. So we'll start about here, and now we'll start to move, and it's going to record the motion and the timing of the red. The red will be the color of my heart. I could click any other color to start with, and that would give me a, an alternate color I could draw that with. So we're going to draw here. That was a little jerky there. You'll see that when we're done. Okay. Now I'm going to click on OK. I'll give it a name, and now we have it. Now it draws it, but it draws it in a very ugly way. How can I make it look nice? Let me show you the easy way to do that. Let's take our red heart one and drag down and put it on track two. Because I'm going to make the track below it visible, watch what happens. As we play it, now it draws it very carefully. Now we need to change a little bit about it. I'm going to highlight my red heart, click on Designer, and we'll ask how long do I want it to play back. Let's say three seconds is fast enough, and I'll change my time code there, and we'll have it freeze for, let's say, half a second, 0.15 frame, 1.6 frames, that's good enough, click on OK. And now when we play it, it will take three seconds to draw, and it'll freeze. Okay, now what I'm going to do is do Control P to copy that last frame. I'm going to just, just call it Red Heart 1. And now I'm going to go back to my media room. I'm going to use this here and I'm going to split everything at this point. Control T and Control T here. I'm going to take these guys out and we're going to take my Red Heart Let's go back to Media Room, and I'm going to click on My Media. Here's my Red Heart 1, and now I'm going to work exclusively with that. So now I'm done with, I've created the drawing of the heart, now I want to do something else here. Let's take this and expand it longer. And now I want to mask this, because I'm going to take my city, 
and put it on track one. And now we're going to match the city into the center of the heart. We click on the red heart. We we'll click on edit. We're going to go to our mask designer again. Only use a different tool. This time we're going to use the custom paint brush tool. Click on that. I'm going to click on the second icon from the right, my smart brush. And we're going to highlight the inside of the heart. Click on OK. I want to invert my mask and click on OK. Now what I have, if I play the end of this here, is the heart is drawn and then it pops up and I see the area I want to focus on. So let's take music and put that in for the whole thing. And then I'm going to go to my title room. And let's pick a title. OK, that's a good enough one. We'll put this down on another track, track four. And let's change it to You Will Love. And we'll take it and move it down here. And let's change, make it a little smaller. There we go. And let's change the animation. Wipe right. There we go. You Will Love. OK, let's take the uh, duration of it, make it longer. OK, now we're going to play this. All right, I'm going to change the duration of that. I'm going to click on the Title Designer, click on Edit, and Advanced. So I'm going to have the You Will Love draw slower, so we'll print it here. And then I want to add a title. We'll click on the T. And I'll put Miami in the middle of the heart. And well, let's use a different font here. That works for now. OK. And we will make that come in later when the picture starts. We'll just click on OK. We could do a lot more customization if you want, but this will get us started. I'll press my home key and let's see what it looks like. You will love Miami. We want to expand this picture. How do we do that? We go back to our heart. We're going to click on advanced editing and we're going to keyframe that. We'll start at this point here. We'll set two keyframes, normal size. And I'll set a position and keyframe value there. What we're going to do is expand this image. We'll make it large. Move it down. Use our scale on the left and right to make sure we cover the whole screen. Click on OK. And so now if we play the whole thing, we start on the background. We draw the heart. You will, we got You Will Love. And we have Miami. And then we have it expand. So that's a way in which you can use these multiple tools, both for paint designer and for masking in two different ways to create this kind of look in CyberLink PowerDirector.